They settle down in the early stages. Dawn run right up with them towards the left of the picture. For auction also, and Desert Orchid just in behind them. And it's Dawn run from For Auction, Desert Orchid. Buck House just in behind them. In comes very promising Cutter Dash, Seema. Fine Son and the food broker are the back markers at the moment. And the mayor and John Joe O'Neill on Dawn Run, making it at the moment from Desert Orchid in second. For auction is third. Then very promising and Cutter Dash and Buck House. <coughs> Dawn Run and Desert Orchid, very little between the two there. From For Auction and Buck House as they swing left-handed. Dawn Run, the favorite, from Desert Orchid the Grey, then comes For Auction, the previous winner. Behind him comes Buck House, then Very Promising and Cutter Dash and Seymour, and behind them Sula Bula, and then Amaro on the inside of Robin Wonder. And then Boreen Prince with Fred Kateri on the outside, the food broker, and finally Fine Sun as they run downhill. And now racing towards the third, little between the two leaders. Desert Orchid on the far side of Dawn Run. Then for auction, then Buck House, very promising, and Cutter Dash. And Seema, then Amora, Sula Bula on the outside, Boreen Prince, the back marker, Fine Sun. Racing down to the next flight. The fourth of the eight flights in the champion hurdle and the grey desert orchid with the advantage over the favorite dawn run now as they come to the fourth desert orchid from dawn run then for auction buckhouse sula Bula on the outside fine sun finding this gallop too much at the moment and somewhere behind the remainder as they race towards the next flight the fifth dawn run on the inside of desert orchid then closely grouped in behind are Sula Bula for auction and Buckhouse, and then Seymour and Cutter Dash and Very Promising and Amora. Then Fred Kateri and Robin Wonder as they race towards the top of the hill now. Three left to jump. In the champion hurdle, Dawn Run, the mare, on the inside of Desert Orchid. As they begin the run downhill, Sula Bula right with them towards the outside. Buckhouse also right with them. For auctions, lost a little bit of ground. Coming down towards the next flight now, the third from home, Dawn Run on the inside with Buckhouse on the outside. Dawn Run from Buckhouse there, then comes Desert Orchid. Racing towards the second last flight now in the champion hurdle, and it's the Mayor Dawn Run being pressed by Buckhouse all the time on the far side. Dawn Run on the near side, Buckhouse on the far side, Seymour is in third place. Then comes Very Promising, racing round the home turn now, and it's John Joe O'Neill on Dawn Run from Buckhouse and Seema as they race towards the final flight. It's Dawn Run in the lead from Seema and Buckhouse. Seema producing a great challenge towards the near side, but Dawn Run with the advantage. Dawn Run lands in the lead over the last from Seema, who's now gone a close second. And then Very Promising finishing fast, and Seema on the near side, and Dawn Run on the far side. Dawn Run from Seema as they race into the closing stages. It's Dawn Run from Seema, and as they come to the line, Dawn Run has won it from Seema, and Very Promising is third. That's the one, two, three. Buckhouse was four, and Fred Kateri next. Then Cutterdash and Amora and Boreen Prince, and behind them for auction, and behind him was Robin Wonder, and then Desert Orchid and Sula Bula, and finally the food broker in Fine Sun, and so the result of the 1984 Waterford Crystal Champion Hurdle First, number 16, Dawn Run, owned by Mrs. Charmian Hill, trained in Ireland by Paddy Mullins, and written by John Joe O'Neill. Second was number five, Seema, owned by Mr. Roy Padmore and Mr. W.E. Sturt, trained by Jim Old and written by Peter Scudamore. And third was number 15, very promising, owned by Mr. Bob Mann, trained by Mrs. Mercy Rymel and written by Sam Moore's head. Fourth was number three, Buckhouse. Here is the heroine of the race with their a congratulatory handshake from uh, Tommy Carmody to John Joe O'Neill, who won this, of course, in 1984. In 19... I should say, he's won it in 1984, all right, but he also, of course, won it in 1980 on Sea Pigeon. 
and here it's how he won on this famous mare the first to triumph since African sister and here's Richard and it had been a good pace in the early stages, in fact, not over fast, but then when the grey horse took uh, Desert Orchid, took on this mare, it really went some pace. A good, as we expected, fast gallop, and this was the answer. Where, coming to the last and facing up the hill, the mare not seeming to be going anywhere particularly, and a bit of a clumsy jump there, and it's Seymour with Peter Scudamore looking for his first winner at the festival meeting, who is the challenger. Buckhouse there in the light colours, just weakening, but the mare whose uh, action is quite high, isn't it? Probably better or ha happier in the softer ground, keeps going. Guts have always been her great forte. But Seema has run a tremendous race. Jim Old has always thought the world of this little horse. I saw him at Chepstow last week and he said, well, they haven't quite come yet, he said, but they'll come. Well, they very nearly did come. But it's a great triumph for this mare and it keeps the sale... Well, I'm pleased that uh, you've got our pictures back to see John Joe O'Neill return on the 1984 Waterford Crystal Champion Hurdler, Dawn Run. This great little mare, who, as I say, is the first of her sex uh, to win since Lester Pickett's father, Keith, won on African Sister in 1939. And the distance is three quarters of a length and four lengths. And some minor consolation to Mercy Rymel for her bitter disappointment that the 1983 champion Gay Brief was unable to run because she remarkably saddled very promising to be third. Dawn Run, the five to four on favorite. And John Joe O'Neill, everybody's favorite. His 85th winner of the season. And this combination about to receive a tremendous ovation because the mayor, the jockey, the owner, and the trainer represent everything that's best in this great national hunt sport. Amazingly relaxed little mare. I saw her this morning at work. Soon as she'd done her work, as Richard said, uh, she just pulls up. She's staying nearby. She's not staying at the race course, and she just popped into a horse box, went off for breakfast. Charmian Hill there leading her in, as she so dearly hoped to do, into the hallowed winner's circle here at the Cheltenham National Hunt Festival the most celebrated three days jump racing throughout the world. She's getting a real mobbing. And everything to suggest that she's really enjoying it. Well, I think Dr. Desmond Morris would have to admit that this racehorse knows she's won all right. Everybody trying to get a touch of the of the mayor, who immediately gets the five to one uh, quote from Corals for the 1985 champion hurdle. That's very promising in the background. Uh, very creditable third. And as Richard, who incidentally rode the winner himself in 1974, said, what a very fine race Seema ran to. But all eyes on Dawn Run and her gallant owner, Charmian Hill. 
Well, the second uh, successive Irish triumph and only the third race of the festival. And they're going to be some celebrations in Cheltenham tonight. So with that still lingering look at her beautiful head, the starting price is as follows. First, number 16.